Hello wonderful people, this is Nicky Bobby once again. We just welcome you to give you the latest updates as regards to the publication that um, Barristi Fanny Jaffo made a few minutes ago. It's a breaking news, it's a updates on Onyendu's Court of Appeal case. We wish to inform Mumuchineke and followers of Onyendu Mazen Nambikan that we just received notification from the Court of Appeal Abuja Judicial Division that the longer water judgment in Onyendu Mazen Nambikan's appeal case Number CA slash ABJ slash CRO slash 625 slash 2022 between Mazin Nambikano of Federal Republic of Nigeria will be delivered tomorrow, the 13th day, October 2022, at 2 p.m. We are very excited with this news as we look forward to a victorious outing tomorrow. Chukwokika Biyama is on the throne and shall forever be on the throne. The hour has come. Please do not relent in your prayers as they are positively impacting. We will surely have every cause to rejoice for victory is ours and it shall surely end in praises. Thank you all, Omuchineka. Remain blessed and law abiding as you have always been. Signed, Sir Ifanye Jofo Esquire, KSC IPOB Slate Council, 12th of October. 2022. Uh, this is the information we just received from the desk of Barista Ifanye Jofo. The hearing is going, no hearing, the ruling is going to be tomorrow. Well, we're, all of us, we are still excited, looking forward to see what tomorrow we bring. And it is absolutely necessary that all people get to understand what struggling for freedom potents, what it means. It's not beans, it's not control. This is not something you just uh, Dublin. So that is why every time we continue letting our people know that a lot of you just jump in because you had a IPOB, you had a Biafran restriction. You just jump in to join. You have not come to really know why you are doing what you are doing. Of irrespective of the amount of sensitization that IPOB has really made some people to get to know, and some people are yet to understand because they are not there with their heart, with their mind. They had it, they decided to join, not really to know exactly what is going on. Till this day, the IPOB leadership and IPOB entirely has been doing a great job. They have been doing great and fantastic job. It was IPOB that gave rise to ESN. It was IPOB. In fact, ESN was the last one that came on board. It was IPOB that really brought our people from all parts of the world together. So that today, our people can understand their value. Before now, people find it difficult to speak in more language, especially in the public. If you see your fellow Igbo man, the person who doesn't like to identify himself as an Igbo person, he prefers speaking no Igbo. Through the sensitization of Mazen Nambikano and IPOB, today, Biafra friends are coming together. Wow, that's a very great landmark. Because it's not easy to, to achieve things like that. Now come this ESN to protect our people. Do you know what it takes to form such body like ESN? And so in everything we are doing, if it gets to the point where IPO might say, well, at this point, we do not need election to be conducted in Biafra land again by the zoo, then we know we've gotten to that point. But one thing you have to bear in mind is that at any point we are working, wherever we get to the bridge, we will always find a way to cross the bridge. That is sure and certain. Because IPOB continue working. And when you hear about IPOB, mind you that that name IPOB, in other words, you are calling DOS. Because you have taken time to explain to you that one thing that people don't understand is that a lot of people feel that DOS is the name of one person. No. DOS is the body that he is coordinating organizing managing ipob so there's no way you can talk about ipob without dos i hear some people say yes ipob we are ipob we are uh, tomorrow they start insulting dos but they don't know what they are doing dos can no you cannot separate them from ipob they are the governing body that are running ipob so when you people are saying dos this dos that you don't know that you are pointing at Mazen Namdekan as well. Because Mazen Namdekan is a member of DOS. 
We just said that to this opportunity to emphasize more on it and clarify some people. DOS is, is a body within IPOB. They are the ones in charge of IPOB. I don't know how I will explain it to you. Just like you see the Zoological Republic, there is what you call the federal government, the MG, which is the central system. Yeah, you cannot separate the government from Nigeria. That's the way it is in IPOB. There is no way you can separate DOS from IPOB. It's not possible. We are not talking about individual. What we are talking about is some individual will occupy that position at any point at one time or the other. So what we support is the body, that structure, not individually. No, we are not supporting the, We are supporting the structure. And because of that structure, that is why today we are talking about Biafra restoration. Have you not heard of those who are taking asylum in European countries, in American countries? It's the kudos to DOS. So who are the ones signing it? It's DOS. Have you not heard about so many other activities that's being carried out by the IPOB, by Biafrans, even in Biafra land, even in other countries? For example, in Côte d'Ivoire, IPOB has a structure there. They have um, where people do go and support the less privileged. They always go for Richard, not only in, in, not only in Côte d'Ivoire, in other countries as well. They see the presence of IPOB. What's made it possible so today that the world refused to prescribe IPOB? It's the movement, it's the structure, it's the DOS. They are there, they are recognized. They are doing work. If you come across the entire Biafra land today, you will notice that those who are at the center will always be the ones to extract and attract information at the best possible time. Who are the ones at the center? Is this DOS? That is why if anything happened in Benue today, within a few minutes, DOS we know. If anything happened in Delta, in Bayasa, in Edo, in Kogi State, in Cross River State, in, 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 in Akwaibom, in River State, Abia, Imo, Enugu, Ebony State, Anambra, DOS will track that information within a few minutes. But you that are maybe you are living in Cross River, you can only know a few things that happen across around Cross River. But these are the guys who are at the center of the information. They are in the best position to tell you, look at what you do. You don't expect them to start explaining to you. But what you have to know is that you have to receive instruction from them. And that's why we urge you to heed to the instruction, obey the simple instruction that the DOS is giving. They are the IPOB you are hearing. I, I, I don't know any other way I can use to explain this. People continue hailing IPOB, yes, IPOB, uh, IPOB. Uh, but then, the people that are managing it, you say you don't know them. How then are you an IPOB member? <laughs> you see, you understand know, so what, so what I mean? You understand know, so what I mean? So these are the things. Uh, some, uh, uh, so many people lack the real understanding of what we are explaining. And that's why we spend our time to sensitize them. There is IPOB organogram, which is the structure of how IPOB is organized. And in that, on that structure, you will see the DOS on top. They are the people. In fact, if you hear about IPOB, it's the DOS that's called that IPOB. Just that a drop of water cannot make a nation, just the same way that a tree cannot make a forest. So that's that. Together, all of us, we become IPOB. In fact, by nature, everyone from Biafra land is an IPOB. Then what we are now talking about to those who belong to each family across the globe. So that's that. Don't look at DOS as something that is a mirage, it's something that you cannot see, it's something you don't know, and don't see DOS as a simple as a single person. As some people think that the DOS they are hearing today is Maze, Maze China Sawur. Some say this um Maze Chike Dozim. No, it's a body. Maze Namekan is among the DOS. So if you are pointing hand at DOS, you are still indirectly pointing hand at Maze Namekan. Do you understand what we are saying? These are the people that are working, that are leading us. 
and there won't be IPO be a say body today without DOS. It's impossible. It is. It is. So these are the things you have to put at the back of your mind that these guys are working, making sure that this movement is being then is maintained to the core. Uh, there are a lot of information that is coming out which you don't know. So those information are on the palm of the DOS. It's not a lot of the information they are going to re review to you. If you are supporting ESN, you are jumping up, you are clapping, hey, thanks for ESN, thanks for indirectly, you are thanking the DOS because they are the ones that formed the DOS. Sorry, that formed the ESN. So, assuming that this structure, that IPOB and DOS is nowhere structured like this, and now that Mazinam Kano is in, how do you think the ESN will be functioning? So, that's to show you because it is well structured and organized. When Mazinam Kano is not there, this structure, this body continues functioning. So, there is still a general ESN commander sir, today who is still directing. But you will thank and promote ESL. Now, the people that are in charge is the, uh, are the people that you not thank. Do you think it's sensible? Do you think it's wise enough? Forget about those who are dancing on social media. These ones are disruptors. They came to crush the IPOB movement. They are there to make sure that Biafra will not come. We don't know any other way we can use to explain it to you. We are happy that we are going to hear the court's judgment tomorrow. So that tomorrow will determine we go a long way to reposition things. Whether left or right, whatever that happens, new decision will be taken. Those who are leading us will continue leading us. Whatever that happens tomorrow at the end of the court hearing, the judgment, the ruling, what's going to be is going to be. Those who are leading us must continue. We will never compute. No, we can't capitulate. We say that it's a Biafra land and all of us have our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be.